Everyone wants to live a happy life, so we make every possible effort. However, whether we live well off or not, we all die sooner or later, and this is not the end. When we die, we are judged and sent to either heaven or hell. If we go to heaven, we live happily forever, with no sadness and no pain, in the beautiful paradise. But if we go to hell, we live in great pain forever, in the horrible lake of fire. Where do you think you will go, heaven or hell? Just take a few minutes and watch this video clip. You will find the amazing truth that will change your life. Who made the world? In the beginning, God made the world. God made everything in the world. He made the day and the night. He made the sky, the land, and the sea. He made the plants on the land. He made the sun, the moon, and the stars in the sky. Then he made the fish in the sea, the birds in the sky, and the animals on the land. Why did God make mankind? God made mankind. A man and a woman. Why did God make them? To love and to be loved. God loved them so much that he blessed them. What did they do wrong? God said to the man, Adam, You can eat from any tree, but do not eat from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, or you will die. One day, Satan, disguised as a snake, tempted the woman Eve. If you eat the fruit, you will be like God. Finally, Eve ate the fruit and gave another to Adam, and he ate it too. What happened to Adam and Eve? God punished them. God said to Eve, You will be in great pain when you have babies, and your husband will rule over you. God said to Adam, You must work for food, and you were made out of dust, so you will return to it. God made garments of skin for Adam and Eve, and clothed them, and he drove them out of Eden. Why did God punish them? Why did God punish them so severely when they just ate some fruit? It's because they didn't listen to God, but... They followed Satan. The moment they followed Satan, Satan entered into them. Satan became their king, and they became the slaves of Satan. They started to think, act, and speak like Satan. They had the mind of Satan. It is called sinful nature. 
the human polluted by sin couldn't live with the holy God. That was why God drove them out while he still loved them. Are we also sinners? And what will happen to sinners? Are we also sinners? Yes, we are all sinners. We also have sinful nature because we are the descendants of Adam and Eve. We have had sinful nature from birth and we sin against God every day. If we go on living like this, and die with sin. We will be judged and thrown into hell. What is hell like? Hell is too horrible to describe. This was the place for Satan and his angels who betrayed God but also the people who follow Satan are thrown into hell. Hell is a lake of fire. In hell, flesh-eating worms never die, and the fire never goes out. Everyone will be salted with fire. You cannot take a sip of water despite your burning thirst. Once you are sent to hell, it is too late for regrets. You will scream in great pain, and you want to die, but you can't. You have to stay there forever. Then, what is heaven like? Heaven is where you can live with God and Jesus happily forever. It is decorated with various jewels. There flows the river of the water of life as clear as crystal. The trees of life on the river sides bear fruit every month. There is no curse and no sadness. Also, there is no darkness, for God gives you light. You can see and worship God and Jesus. But not everyone can go to heaven. Only the ones whose names are in the Book of Life can enter heaven. What do people do to go to heaven instead of hell? People are afraid of hell. To avoid going to hell and to go to heaven, they do many things. They do good things, such as donating money to charity and helping the poor or they do meditation and suffering, or they do religious things. But these are not enough for them to go to heaven. Then, how could people be forgiven? In the old days, God let those who sinned make sin offerings. People killed an animal as a sacrifice for their sins. For there is no forgiveness without shedding blood. They brought a bull, a goat, or a lamb with no defects. They laid their hands on its head and killed it. They sprinkled its blood at the holy place. They cut the animal into pieces and burned them, and then they were forgiven. However, as time went by, 
The offering became formal rituals with no true repentance. In the end, God hated this meaningless ritual. This animal sin offering could not be an ultimate solution. What was God's plan? God sent His one and only Son as a great sacrifice. He was Jesus. He was conceived by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He taught the gospel and performed many miracles. Although Jesus was sinless, he was crucified shedding blood on the cross for his people. Through his blood, we could be forgiven and could go to heaven. What happened to Jesus after that? On the third day, he defeated death and rose from the dead. He showed himself to the disciples, and he told them about the kingdom of God. After forty days, he went up to heaven. He is sitting on the right hand of God now. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. Nobody knows the exact time, but he will come soon. Then, what should I do? The Bible says in John chapter 1, verse 12, To all who did receive him, to those who believed in his name, he gave the right to become children of God. So, whoever believes in Jesus and accepts him can be a child of God. They can call God Father. And he takes care of them. Then, to receive Jesus, what must you do? You must truly believe in him. You must confess, Jesus is my Lord with your mouth. And Jesus will come into you and become your Lord. You will become a child of God and live in heaven forever. Now, Jesus is standing at your door and knocking. He is waiting for you to open the door of your heart. The Salvation Prayer This is the very important prayer to receive Jesus as your Lord. Pray out loud with all your true heart. Father, I am a sinner. Not knowing what I am living for, I have committed many sins. Now, I realize that Jesus died on the cross for my sins. I repent all my sins. Please wash them away with his blood. Jesus, thank you for saving me. Now I open my heart and I receive you as my Lord. From now on, I will follow and serve you forever. Please guide me and make me your faithful servant. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. 
Then, what should I do from now on? Congratulations! Now all your sins have been forgiven. You have become a child of God. Also, your name has been written in the book of life. You will live in heaven forever. But there is an obstacle on the way to heaven. That is, Satan who tricked Adam and Eve. Satan constantly tempts us by all means. And alone, you can be an easy target for Satan. Therefore, all believers should get together. We must read the Bible and obey God's words. We must pray and love one another. We must live different lives from Satan's. Where should we go? You must go to church right away. Church is the community of faith where God's people gather. In the community, Jesus becomes the head, and all church members become his body. In the church, there are words of God and fellowship with believers. There are works of the Holy Spirit and forgiveness of sins. There are answers to the prayers and praises of joy. When we march to heaven together as one body in Christ, God will bless us.